Joey from Joestar Studios. I'm gonna tell you where I'm at today. Okay, so today I have designed a spreadsheet. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and it generates random interview questions. Not completely random though. There are templates that um, I have made for them. And then like, they're these, they're like these sentences, these questions or sentences with blanks in them. Shut up, Louie. And um, I created like this generator thing on using functions on the spreadsheet with like a list of random nouns. And then like various functions will, um, the various functions will fill in those blanks with shut up Louis well, with those nouns these templates have questions like I hear that you think blank could learn a lot from blank what do you have to say about that and like um the nouns will fill in those blanks and then I will answer that question and like that's the first question, so let's just come up and answer that, shall we? Yeah, yeah, good, audience. I hear that you think that mosquitoes could learn a lot from compost. What do you have to say about this? Hmm, well, I don't like mosquitoes very much. And, like, compost, we, like, um, take it out and, like, feed it to worms, and that would be a great thing like if we could just like feed all the mosquitoes to worms that would just be like great let's do another one of those i hear you think that whips could learn a lot from the dab what do you have to say about this i think the whip could learn a lot from the dab like the, I mean, the dab could learn a lot from the whip. Um, I feel like that might have been phrased the not the way that I wanted it to be. So, um, anyway, I think that the whip died out and, like, nobody does it anymore. The dab also died, died out, but people still do it unironically. So, I would just, like, really appreciate it if people would stop dabbing unironically. Yeah, can we all just, like do that let's move on to the next question i hear that you are very opinionated when it comes to the past do you care to comment on this well i don't really have that many strong opinions on the past like what exactly are we refer are we referring to about the past are we referring to just like the past like in general like everything in the world that has ever led up to the point i am at now or are we referring to like some kind of specific historical event like world war one for example are we referring to that i don't know why i'm talking like this i just like ate a bunch of sugar before recording this so that might have had something to do with it Boop. let's do another one of those I hear that you are very opinionated when it comes to Chris Hemsworth. Do you care to comment on this? I have a very complicated set of feelings toward Chris Hemsworth. That could sound really weird. I hope nobody takes that clip out of context. But like, um, anyway, uh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say about that? Oh, right. Chris Hemsworth is one of those actors that is very much, like, most of the stuff he touches turns to gold. Or at least the part that he's playing turns to gold. Like, he was, like, the only redeeming part of that new trashy Men in Black film. Like, well, along with him and Valkyrie Girl, whose name I forgot. What was her name? Not important. Question four. Which do you think is trashier? Weed or students? Well, um, this is a very complex and abstract question. No, it's not. Um, the weed, weed, um, a lot of people think is trashy to the point where they say it should be illegalized. Like, I don't 100% agree with those people, but I don't want to cause a political flame war in the comments, so I'm not gonna bring that up. 
Instead, I'm going to draw the attention to the fact that, concerning the fact that I personally am still a student in high school, the rest of my classmates are massive idiots, and yes, they are way trash. <laughs> Let's do another one of those. Which do you think is trashier, racism or the past? Well, first off, racism was in the past. <clears throat> so, by very definition, they are one and the same. No, they are not. The past has a lot more positive stuff going for it. So, by that line of logic, I would say that racism is trashier. Why did I put political based questions in this. Like, this might not go over very well. Question five. I hear that you think whips for society is a cause for suspicion. What do you have to say about that? If anyone in society is still whipping, then yes, that is a cause for suspicion. Please stop that whoever is doing it. Like, Thank you. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands right now. I hear that you think that wrenches for geese is a cause of suspicion. Do you care to comment on this? Yes, I do. Geese should not be trusted with wrenches. No, they should not. Frit geese. Sus suspicious little frit. Such suspicious little creatures geese are. Do not give them wrenches at no cost ever. Do an impression of mosquitoes gone wrong. Now, I was going to look around my art utensils drawer for a red marker, but all I have is this pink one. So now I'm going to draw a bunch of pink dots on my arm to simulate Mosquitoes gone wrong. This is the kind of content that this video has devolved into. Alright. Here is my impression of mosquitoes gone wrong. I hope you enjoyed it. Do an impression of society gone wrong. Now, all you would really have to do for this quest... I should pull up my sleeves now. All I would really have to do for this question is to show a clip of the Joker movie. Because isn't that just like the core premise of that movie? That society has gone corrupt? But like, um, I haven't seen that movie yet. So I'm just going to pull like a random clip out at random. I hope it applies. Mm -hmm. Do an impression of Shia LaBeouf gone wrong. Originally for this one... I was going to put a paper bag over my head, but I couldn't find any paper bags. And ne next I was going to think about doing putting cardboard over my head. But like it turned out that like all for all the plain cardboard boxes, they all had stuff in them. So instead, I am putting a Harry Potter Lego set box on my head. It's empty. Don't worry. Let's see if I can even... Ow. Turns out I could not fit my head there. I'm sorry. That was a wasted joke. Do an impre- No, wrong one. Wrong one. Sorry. Do you consider chips to be disingenuous? Um, I consider Lay's to be disingenuous because, like, apparently there is a market for air now if Lay's is making any money. Do you consider students to be disingenuous? Very. If you're talking about the ones at the school that I go to, they are very disingenuous. Alright. Who is your favorite Chris Hemsworth-themed superhero? Thor. Like, is that... Actually, is that themed? It's probably not themed because he just plays Thor. But, like, I don't care. Let's just move on. Making random motions with my hands, I... Uh, I was going to make an Alexander Hamilton reference, but apparently not. Who is your favorite Chips-themed superhero? Um, Lay's Man. He's a creation of my own crea... That's not... Okay, um, anyway. His superpower is the ability to breathe 
f vaguely food flavored air at people. Sometimes it smells like sour cream and onions. Sometimes it smells like cheddar cheese. And sometimes it smells like barbecue sauce. Isn't that a dirt? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Who is your favorite geese themed superhero? Um, I'm, are there any geese themed superheroes? I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick Google. I could not find any geese in superheroes, so I'm just gonna go with the falcon. It's not a geese, but I don't care. It's a falcon. It's a bird. All right, my dad just walked in on me filming. That was a rather weird thing to walk in on your son do doing. Like, imagine if you walked into a room and saw your son Filming him making weird comments about geese and falcons. <sighs> anyway. Um, who's your favorite Shia LaBeouf themed superhero? <laughs> um, I wonder if he plays any superheroes. Does Shia LaBeouf play a su superhero? All right. Okay, I have just found out after after a couple however much long that was of Googling that some people want him to play Red Hood. <laughs> why? <laughs> like, why? All right, um, him then, I guess. You've been given a Shia LaBeouf. You can't give it away or sell it. What would you do with it? I'm going to interpret this question as like, giving it away is like giving it to a different person and like if I just like get rid of it like I'm allowed to do that um and so I will um leave Shia LaBeouf out by the road I will leave Shia out by the road and like put a paper bag on his head and write I am not famous anymore on it that would go over very well I think that would be very funny to the people who get that reference if they don't then I don't know what that expression was.